the rider engine uh, lever seal um, seals that they used on that engine look something like this. Um, so as you can see, we've got the piston there. <coughs> this is the, um, like the cylinder, so to speak, and on that side as well. Um, so it had two two lever seals, uh, lip seals. Um, one was pointing in the downwards direction like this. Now this was the seal that actually sealed the uh, working fluid um, air inside the engine. And then it had another lever seal on top pointing up like this, um, which was a dust seal. Um, and it also regulated how much um, lubricating oil um, went in the engine. Um, what I used to have, and I used to fill up this little pocket here with oil, and the oil was just sitting there, and slowly but surely, that would soak into the lever, uh, keeping the piston slide lubricated. Um, so this piece here is like a, fi a filler piece. Um, this is a support ring. Um, that, that used to support the lever seal so when the um, piston was going in the upward direction um, according to the patent um, this lever seal would have a tendency to get squeezed squeezed up if this support ring wasn't here um, so I'm wondering whether if I replicate this in in some kind of manner um, I can I'll have another go at using the lever seals um, and it, it might might solve the problem of overheating of course, the overheating might have been caused by the actual um, the friction of the extra friction of the lever seal um, or the drag of the seal rather than the actual heat of the engine. Um, this is a, a stud here, so that would have a nut on it, and this disc clamps the whole assembly together. Um, obviously, this is a this is a section of a ring, um, so there'd be enough there would be another seal um, shown on this side because this is actually a, a ring uh, that goes around the piston like, like so. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, take these pistons out individually uh, and get the um, get a sander on them and buff them back up again to make them a bit more shiny. Uh, the PTFE seals, um, well, I say the seals. I don't know whether it's actually debris that's caught in the seals, which has caused the scratching of the pistons. Um, but anyway, I've got scratches on the pistons, so I need to um, I need to polish those out to a reasonable standard. Um, I don't think it needs to be a completely highly highly polished piston um, because what I've no I noticed on the last engine was that the the lever itself will actually polish polish it um, the anyhow it just just in general use it's just enough so the uh, lever seal isn't damaged um, by the scratches. So here you can see the hot piston which I've just taken out, and you can see the slight scratches. I mean, I can feel them with my finger, so that I'll have to take those out. On the foundation rings, um, I've actually put a chamfer on the inside edge, like that, on each one. And all these rings here. <clears throat> those rings fit the, um, the bottom, so they're the bottom ring. Um, the idea of the chamfer is to allow the lever so when the lever seal like that, so the, the seal would be bent down that way so it's just to give clearance for the seal to bend down right so I've made a whole new set of um, seals out of some leather I've soaked these in uh, paraffin oil to make them a little bit supple overnight Ready to be fitted. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grease up um, all the pistons um, to make sure that nothing sticks to them. Sticks to, uh, so the uh, our fiberglass mould doesn't stick to the pistons. Alright, so I've filled up the, um, uh, the cavity above the seal with the resin. I've made a bit of a mess in places, so hopefully I'm going to be able to get this out easily.
So there's um, half the rings done. I've, I've sanded these back down again just to clean them up. Uh, some are better than others. Um, so we've got that one there. I think the main problem is the with the glass fiber or f glass fibers uh, in the resin mix, um, it doesn't always hasn't always flowed that well. Um, it's not too much of a problem. I, I won't use these as the main seal. I use these as the um, the top seal. So I'm going to uh, make a uh, a mirrored image of that um, that radius on the bottom of the ring now. Um, yeah. So for this mix, I'm going to go back to the um, uh, the resin mix with flour. Um, I meant to pick up some talcum powder from the supermarket, but I didn't. I'm just going to give it a go. It's probably not the perfect solution, but see what happens, eh? Alright, so there you go. I've just done the other side of the lip, so the downwards pointing lip. Um, it's it's a bit it's a bit messy at the moment, if I'm honest. I'm not actually particularly happy with things. I broke this one off trying to get it down over because I didn't check it fitted before I um, mixed up the resin. But hopefully we can do something with it, and um, we'll see what we got tomorrow when it's set. Alright, so I've finished um, forming uh, the rings, the support. The seal support rings. Um, they're not perfect, if I'm perfectly honest, and it's not the finest work I've ever ever done. Hopefully, it'll prove the point though that by putting a support ring with a, a section like that to stop the seal folding back in on itself um, when the piston goes on its reverse travel. So I'm going to fit fit these a minute. I might just give them a little sand down a minute, and then I'm going to fit them, and um, we'll see what happens. Right, so I'll just put these the four seals back on. I'll put some lubricating oil on the seals before I put the next piece on. Okay, so there's our our support rings in place. I call them support rings. Okay, so that's the top seals in place. Notice that these lips point upwards. The point of these is to stop uh, free oil flow into the cylinders. Um, and also to stop uh, dust getting in as well. Um, that statement is pretty much out of the um, Alexander Ryder patent. I've just machined out the inside diameter of these rings um, and also put a chamfer on it. Uh, that's to allow the leather seal to bend up um, a bit more freely. So I'll just stick those on in a minute. So there you go, I've just um, clamped all the rings down. Noticed all the oil was squeezed out. So it looks like a bit more like a proper old old engine with oil oozing out. So there we have it all back together. I've got the linkages back on. And I can now give it a spin. naturally a bit tight but hopefully a bit of use will solve that of course the lever will give so I'm not too worried about this right all ready for um, give it another run when the uh, when it's not raining <laughs> 